today's video. I'm starting this one on the road. It's our last stage of Project USA, 60 miles. So far, we've just made it out of the city. Uh, our legs are smashed, and we're gonna take it as slow as possible and soak it all in. Happy, sad? Happy, mate. Got my bike. One last time in America. Nice. So this is probably the quickest we've ever had to stop in a ride. I don't know if it's because we're actually wrecked or is it a psychological thing because we're so close to the end and we basically can't ride over about 60 miles an hour. I think because we got a bit of heat stroke yesterday, we're now ultra sensitive to the heat, so that's making it a bit worse as well. Double Gatorade. It's progressed. 10 miles we in. We don't want to get there. We don't want to get to Portland. <laughs> don't, don't want to trip the end. That's what it is. Really? No, not really. <laughs> it is so hot. <laughs> 50 miles to go. Should I get some more water? How are you looking for water? I've got two full ones. We did. Wait for it. <laughs> that was worth the wait. <laughs> I don't know if the camera picks it up, but there is this massive, massive mountain directly in front of me there. I wonder what it is. Well, the viewers asked us to sample something that wasn't fast food in Denny's. Subway is fast food. Ta -da. I promise we'll find something better in Portland like a pub. Been outside for two minutes and I've got a headache. Uh, don't, don't start moaning and complaining. The viewers don't like moaning and complaining. So we're now uh, exactly 30 miles out. Looking at the elevation profile though, it's 1,700 foot, which I can only imagine is like steep bastard climbs all the way through Portland. And James booked a motel on the other side of Portland. Warm like a lightsaber. What is it? Like this, yeah. Out there. Oh! Wacky, waving, inflatable, I'll tell you too bad! I'll drop a picture over to you now. No worries. Eagle, dude. This bird sanctuary is going to come and pick it up. It doesn't look very well. When you stopped for that eagle just then, I thought you'd got a puncher and that you were just calling an Uber. We are so close now that, all right, there's no way. Nothing is stopping. You have to break both my legs for me to stop, to stop me getting to Portland now. We've done it, man. the face of someone who's just cycled the length of America. Where's Lawrence? I don't know. I was expecting like party poppers and shit. <laughs> Did some organization to be carried out. You clearly don't know Lawrence very well, do you? Oh, he's here. Where? 232. Oh, that guy! I can't believe you're still friends after this. We're not. <laughs> that is a tasty burger. Mm. <laughs> this is like those um, uh, those spray the sprinklers. In the field. Francis and I were so hot earlier, we would basically just stop and go, oh. <laughs> what is that? It's from there. It's from there. Oh, Probably it's coming out of the toilet. Oh. So, the people of Portland are amazing. Like we had, we had uh, uh, how many people? Half a dozen people come down just to have a few beers with us, and it was just awesome. Actually, like really, really nice to <coughs> share the end of the journey with people who have been kind of watching it every step of the way, and like they they seem to know more about the journey than we do. <laughs> it's, Can't any of it. it's, it's hilarious. So. This afternoon, we are going on a quick mission to pack up the bikes. Very kindly, uh, River City Cycles, which is a bike shop in Portland, has offered to give us some bike boxes. So we're gonna check out the shop, um, and we're gonna take the boxes back here to actually do the packing process, because it's gonna take ages. I don't want another hole in my carbon wheel. This shop's badass, dude. It is, isn't it? It's awesome. Yes. 
That's really cheap. Dude, that, that frame at home is about six thousand pounds. Really? Seven yeah. titanium. It's, it's a evergreen SLX. It's carbon tubes, tie lugs. So hungover. That <laughs> we can uh, get some tubeless tires. Did you want some water? Oh my god. I bought all the bottle wrap. That's some, well, it's not gonna work, is it? <laughs> he was an amber baby. And he had freckles too. <laughs> like amber baby? Apparently I'm an amber baby. I don't want that catching on Francis. Like Prince Harry, she said. Like Prince Harry. That's not the first time I've had that. Amber Loza. Amber Loza. It's, uh, hey, it's ambient light. Oh. oh. This is the last supper. Oh. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> So sad. Bacon cheeseburger. <laughs> Damn straight. I'm gonna eat all of the food tonight. Seeing as we're not riding 100 miles every day anymore, Lawrence has gone for the healthy salad. I've gone for the rice. Got some tater tots to share. James has gone for a bacon double cheeseburger. This is amazing. This is like the second best thing I've put in my mouth ever. What was the last thing I said to you? Have you got the key? Yeah. Do you have the key? No. You. <laughs> it was on the table. Oh, right, so who's the bigger arsehole here? The arsehole who should have remembered the key, or the arsehole who saw the key and decided not to pick it up? No, no, I saw you it. Fucking I saw the key. The pair of you. I saw the key at the start of the meal. No, are you serious? Why is it my fault? Because you were in charge of the key. Because you had the key! <laughs> it's in there. What do you mean it's in there? It's in there. You Idiot. I said, have you got the key? Yes, is the is the response I got from, from, from that question. Look at that bare end walking down the street. Walking down the street, that bare end. Yeah. Walk of shame. Walk of shame. yeah. You and your f***ing ants, Lawrence. I think I've got an ant on my ball. <laughs> <laughs> and that, my friends, is Project USA. <laughs>